Hello all, welcome to 100bytes.com. Hope you guys are doing well. So in this video we are going to see how to configure Oracle Web Launch Server with Eclipse Development Environment. This will be handy whenever you are working in a web application where you have to deploy, redeploy and deploy it very frequently. So once you have configured this, uh, configured Oracle Web Launch Server with Eclipse, it will be, uh, you can able to uh, deploy and deploy the web applications very easily in the local web launch server as well as remote web launch server. In addition to that, you can also able to control the local web launch server. That means like you can also able to start and stop it. I have opened an Eclipse where this is the latest version at this time, uh, that is Mars 1 okay open uh, open the java e perspective after that you have to find the servers view so if the servers view is not uh, visible what you can do is like go to windows show view click others and select servers i mean type servers so that the servers will be listed you can select it once the server view is available you can able to configure the servers actually you can able to configure you can you can able to configure not only oracle web launch server you can also configure other servers like tomcat uh, jboss and everything but today we are going to concentrate only on the oracle web launch server so let's click this link and by default there are plugins will be available uh, for oracle only class with tools is available uh, but you can find for apache there are a lot of uh, like uh, versions for tomcat from 4 to 8 is available okay let's go for the oracle so here the oracle server uh, for oracle there is no web launch server plugin is available so what we are going to do is you are going we are going to install the, the plugin through eclipse marketplace okay so here go to help eclipse marketplace search for the uh, web logic type enter click enter so you will find the oracle web launch server tools just click install so this will pull all the i mean required tools for the web launch server so here you see it's all uh, it's it's pulled a couple of plugins like i mean few plugins like web launch server tools some documentation and web scripting tools i'm going to install only the web logic server tools as well as the web logic script scripting tools so once you selected you can click confirm and this will start installation um, this will take some time uh, depending upon your uh, network speed so you have to wait for a uh, few minutes now i accept click finish okay once it's installed it will ask you to restart the eclipse please do so now eclipse have, eclipse has been restarted Let's configure the Oracle Web Launch Server with Eclipse. For that, first we have to click the Servers link. So once you clicked, you you will you can able to see the lot of Web Launch Server plugins available under Oracle folder. There are supported so till now. It's from 10G R3 to 12G R2. You can also able to uh, you can have a multiple uh, Web Launch Server configured with the same Eclipse uh, environment. I'll show how to do. First, I'm going to show a local server. Uh, it is a, it is running in a version 12.1.3 where it has admin server and manage server. So first before creating uh, this you have to create a uh, runtime environment. So for that first you have to select the 12.1.3 version and click add. So in this in, in the add you will find a one pop up where you have to enter web launch home and java home. Uh, you have to configure it accordingly. I have added a web launch server home as well as java home. You can rename it. I can rename as a local wls 12.1.3 and click finish. So once you finished you have to enter a server host name that I am going to keep it as because it's a local host and click next. So uh, like here you can have a server like a two types like server type local and remote. Remote we will see later. First we will go for local. So in this case uh, after after selecting a local you have to select a domain directory. There are two options are there. One is like you can browse. That means through file structure you just click and you can you can start looking for the domain directory. Otherwise otherwise there is a known domains already it will automatically uh, find the already create uh, the domains which is available under the under particular middleware home so currently as i mentioned earlier i have one domain called one domain this is what get listing you can select this base domain and it will start validating it 
okay so this will automatically pick up uh, okay and this will pick up the domain directory and there's one more one more icon that is like create so you suppose like if you don't have the domain as of now uh, and you can also able to create from here just click create there are two there are two options create domain launch domain configuration wizard i will suggest you to go to launch domain configuration wizard this will have a more options actually this is this is basically uh, bringing up the uh, oracle specified domain configuration wizard okay this is how it will be looks like and you can start creating a directory currently uh, as of now i'm not going to create a, a new domain uh, so i'm going to use the already existing domain so click this one known domains base domain and next click next so you if, if it is already some application is available it will list down here i'm not i'm going to skip this part and click finish so once you click so you will see like it is currently in the stopped state so i'm going to start it actually as it is a local uh, as this web browser is running in a local machine you can able to, you can able to start and stop it click start now the now our admin server is started I have started a manage server in a, in an another command prompt which is running here. Now let's see how to deploy an application. Uh, before that, uh, let's see uh, what is under this uh, localhost based domain. So here you'll see mb inherit domain extension all the servers which is running. It, uh, I mean like which is configured actually. Uh, uh, so currently no application is deployed. So you can confirm from here as well. So in the summary of deployments, there are no applications available here. Uh, before deploying an application we can see uh, what and all what are the i mean like what are the configuration you can able to make so right click go to the properties so in the under web logic you will see what are the i mean like runtime composition available as well as the extensions and web logic home and in the key stores uh, like suppose if you are working in the key store related things and you want to change your uh, different key stores you can also able to edit the key store the publishing you can you can also able to change it whether you want to publish the application automatically or it should not be it should be done manually uh, current by default it will select it never uh, but you can also say able to select this like this one but uh, this web logic server is not recommending to automatically push so better is better you can go with the never uh, publish automatically changes okay under publishing you will find an advanced okay this is where you have a target currently admin server is configured suppose uh, like uh, suppose you want to uh, whenever an application is deployed it will deploy only in an admin server suppose you want to deploy in both admin server and manage server as we have in the current domain so you have to click uh, plus here and in the when you when you browse it will it will select both the things admin server and manage server so you can select click and ok now whenever an application is deployed it will be targeted to both admin server and the manage server ok and now now in the server now in the server tab like you will you will see all the uh, i mean like configuration which is already configured so uh, like suppose if you want to go for the ssl port you can also enable the ssl port ok and now we will see how to deploy an application just it is very simple just right click and click run us and 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 and, and click the run on server that's it it will pop up a it will pop up a window where you want to select a server like as of now only one uh, server runtime environment is available so i'm going to select this uh, base domain which is running in the local host or you can also select a, a manual defend a new server that means like if you want to defend a new server at this time you can also select i'm going with the choose an existing server option and and i uh, and selecting this local host server click next so it's already an application is moved from available to configure click next next and finish that's it that application will start deploying in the in the servers you can see here it started publishing here already and it's coming over rest once it published so that it will open a default page of an application uh, in my application in my application there is no default pages configured so it is giving an error 403 let's see like uh, uh, like in in the, the servers tab you see it's 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 rest rest application is available here and in the console page let's refresh this page 
okay you'll see the rest is deployed and it is targeted to both admin server and manage server one this is because like we have configured in the in the in this properties tab like where under publishing advanced we are configured both admin server and ma manage server one so if we don't have this manage server one it will deploy only in the admin server now let's let's try to configure an uh, uh, webdriver server which is running in the remotely so for this right click and click uh, go to new server okay uh, so that server which is running in my remote machine is 10.3.6 so i'm going to select this 10.3.6 and giving the host ip before configuring this web logic, I have to mention one thing with that means like whenever you want to con uh, I mean deploy configure a remote web logic server with the Eclipse you have you need a corresponding version of web server binaries available in the local machine that means like you need to install the middleware home let me configure this web logic home now I have configured this web logic server home and I'm going to rename it as a remote web logic server 10.3.6 and click finish and select and in the suppose if you have multiple server entire moment you will be listed down here like and click next and here you have to select remote okay i'm going to enter the remote host ip port if you want ssl port if you want by deep by default debug port will be picked up that is 8453 and i'm going to if you want to change the debug port also you can change because you can able, you can also able to debug from here it's, uh, with the once you configure this server actually test connection so the connection is succeeded click ok and click next and if you want to deploy the application as of now if you can do otherwise just click finish once it's done in the servers tab you will see uh, like uh, both the servers were listing down here the remote server has only in one admin server uh, I'm going to deploy an application to that remote admin server. Just similarly select uh, run as run on server and it will list down the two two servers actually. So if you want you can select whichever you want you can select. So I'm going to select the remote server click next and the application is uh, moved to the configured page and next next and finish. So this will start publishing in the remote web launch server. Let's try to access the remote admin server console page. And you can see this REST application is deployed. Now, you, now if you want to undeploy an up web application from the server, just you have to, uh, I mean, go to the required server and underneath you will find a part, uh, your required application. Just right click and remove. That's it. So you are undeployed, uh, you have undeployed your web application from the corresponding server. In addition to that, you can also de uh, debug the debug your web application. For that, you just need to what you have to do means like you have to right click and restart in debug mode. Once you restart in debug mode, it will start listening. Let me let me show that one. Like before that, I'll stop the local admin server. Click stop. Now the server is stopped. Just right click the uh, local server and and click the debug. So this will start it in this will start the ser admin server in debug mode. So you 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 see here this eight four five three listening at transport socket address. Okay, so that means like you can able to debug the your web application in the eight four five three. And if you want to change the debug port, just right click your server, click on properties. Under web logic, you will find a server. There is a debug port is available. You can able to, you can change this and click apply. This will do a, a the, the, this the click apply and you have to restart your server. And note that I have started only a admin server, but your managed server is still running is still not running in a debug mode. So once your server started in debug mode, you can able to de uh, like after deploying application, you can able to debug the application from the Eclipse itself your server is started and the debug perspective is open that's all about the configuring oracle web server with eclipse thanks for watching please visit 100bytes.com for more tutorials